Uh, first of all, I want to just kind of thank, uh, you know, Occupy Fond du Lac and whoever else put on this event. Uh, it's a great thing, and it's great to get out of Madison, actually, and see that there's actually people in other parts of the world working on peace and justice. Stevens point. So things like this are going on all over. He told me that Las Vegas is now out of water. The Colorado River doesn't make it to the Baja California anymore. It is all about water. I'll come back to that. Uh, Allie Raven, I believe, is uh, of the same on the same reservation as Winona LaDuke over in Minnesota. So we're sitting around talking, and Philomena hadn't said very much. And there was a lull in the conversation. And all of a sudden, she just piped up and she said, this has got to be all about love. So we'll start off back in World War One. No more war. World War Two. No more war. Korean War. No more war. Vietnam War. No more war. Iraq. No more war. Afghanistan. No more war. And now we're leading into a little saber rattling over in Iran. And. I don't know. I don't know what too much to say about that, other than the fact that the Iranian people have not ever started a war against anybody. They're over there living a nice, peaceful life, like we. Said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So what I'm encouraging you to do is imagine and dream big. My chant is, we're here, no fear. Let's do this three times. Ready? We're here, no fear. We're here, no fear. We're here, no fear. Happening. And what Corexit is, what, what its intent is, is to drop the oil to the bottom of the gulf so it can't be seen. And if it can't be seen, then there will be fined less. Radiation, the Fukushima, and there is, but you can find a few things if you if you search for it. You can also find a few things about what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico right now if you search for it. We know for sure that BP has spent four to five times as much convincing you that everything is clear down there than they have at actually clearing it up. And what they have spent is dropping from airplanes core exit. Core exit is a is a, is a dispersant that has never been tested for human safety. I can guarantee you it's not safe. That if that mine, if that mine took place, within 50 years, the entire Bad River people, the Bad River Indians would no longer exist because their existence, both spiritually and materially, is connected to the to the Kakagan Slough and the largest, I believe it's the largest wild rice bed in North America. The, the process of mining would drop millions of gallons of sulfuric acid into the groundwater and in 50 years it would be in Lake Superior. 
and Lake Superior would then, it would be done. I mean, Lake Superior.